going to show you today how to make an herbal nut seed milk. Some of the ingredients I'll use is um, Irish moss, walnuts, hemp seeds, and a very simple um, herbal blend that I have that I'll give you the ingredients for as well. So this is the moss that I'm going to be using. I normally use purple moss, however I was traveling so I didn't have any and some soaked walnuts, soaked hemp seeds, and a loose leaf blend that I will have in the description below. So to get started, we're just gonna make some tea first. The way I like to make this tea is I just keep it easy on myself. I use a tea kettle and I just throw the water in there and I'll take the loose leaf herbs that you see here and I'm just gonna pour it right into the tea kettle. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat on high, pour the loose leaf herbs into the tea kettle, and by the time the tea kettle whistles, the tea will be ready. So very, very simple things. Um, it's not a very hard recipe. It's a very easy and simple recipe. Um, now I'm gonna grab my blender and go ahead and add all of my ingredients. I'm gonna start by using some soaked walnuts, some soaked hemp seeds, and you can utilize whatever seed or, or you know, almond or, or cashew or whatever you want you can use. Some people can't, they're allergic to nuts, so that's why I have seeds as well. And you could just take out or add in whatever you want. That's the beauty in doing your own thing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and follow that with some Irish moss. Again, I normally use the purple sea moss because I just like it better, but sea moss is sea moss at the end of the day, and I think just having it is the best thing to start with. So go ahead and add the tea. And it's very, 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 very important that when you're utilizing fresh moss like this, that you utilize a hot heat or a hot liquid substance when you blend it, because if you don't, it will come out in chunks if you use like cold water in order to blend the sea moss, okay? Don't do it, trust me, I've done it before. Once everything is blended, just go ahead and strain and pour into your jars. This is a very thick, nutritious, and very rich drink. You can always sweeten it with dates, which is what I normally do. Just blend the dates in or use whatever sweetener you want. If you like this video, share, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.